this is Nick and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me while I open this haul from Baby Glider. I remember when the courier called me, it was around 9.30 a.m. But since I sleep late, it was really early for me and he woke me up. I actually ordered a few things from Lazada a few days back, like two days ago. And I was thinking maybe it's the OTG cable that I ordered because that one is fulfilled by Lazada so it would come in earlier. And I didn't want to wake up early for just one OTG, right? But my husband convinced me to go down and check it out because it was already in the house. Someone received it for me. So lo and behold, it's this baby glider haul. So definitely worth losing sleep over, I would say. Anyway, what I'm holding now are ink pads that I vaguely remember buying because this pre-order I think was late 2019 or probably early 2020. So I can't remember exactly what I bought. The language was in Taiwanese, I guess. I couldn't understand. The only English words I could find were pon pon. I bought these because they kind of reminded me of the Sora Mame ink pads and I wanted those. So I guess this would be an alternative. Here you see me struggling with my clear stamps. I originally wanted to test it out with the planner's anonymous stamp that I recently bought, but I couldn't take it out of the packaging. So I just tested it with whatever I could grab on fast, and this was the Everyday Explorer stamp. With my initial testing with this stamp and this paper, these are really, really good. I want to replace whatever is in my um, portable stamping kit. I just wish they had more colors, like maybe brown. I'll definitely swatch these in my journals, but I don't know if I'm gonna make a video or just make like photos of it. So just watch out on whatever I do for it. Up next are my Harry Potter merchandise. I bought washi tapes and a few bag tags. Here is one of those acrylic bag tags and I'm not really planning on using them on my bags because again they're acrylic and they would scratch easily but I love this because they are back to back and just really really cute. So this first washer roll is called Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's 31 images, small images of the different things that you will find in the movie Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I initially didn't want to get this roll because I'm not a fan of the Harry Potter movies but I guess this movie is fine so I got one. Each image is numbered so from 1 to 31 so I'm guessing one for each day of the month and I like the idea of using it as a decoration for your monthly calendars. They're small enough to fit in that small square and still have space to write on. The second washer roll is called Harry Potter Weeks. It has seven images, one for each day of the week, but also the image corresponds to the original book cover or the first print book cover of the Harry Potter series. This third washer roll is called Mom's Gifts. I initially thought it would be the gifts that Mrs. Weasley gives the, the kids or Harry Potter and the Weasley children. But I was surprised to actually find that this is like the first washi where it's numbered 1 to 31. And there are 31 characters in this washi and it's just so cute and I'm so excited to use them in a calendar. I kind of regret doing my July spread early because I want to use this so much. This fourth roll of washi is called Hogwarts Diary and I think this is my favorite out of all the sets that I have. It has 31 images also labeled 1 to 31 but also the images are scenes from the book or maybe the movie but whatever but it's 31 scenes and I just really love it. They had a lot of book one and book two scenes a little over three and very sparingly they had four five six and seven i wish they had more but i guess the first two to three books had more iconic scenes and i just really love this washi this next troll is called harry potter three stamp the images are fashioned after mail stamps or postage stamps and you have like in a loop you have three images the images are from book three of harry potter i wish they chose more iconic book three things but i guess this will have to do this washi roll is cute it's called professor snape 
and it's also like a stamp layout so it has six images with professor snape on it six scenes with professor snape on it that are laid out like a postage stamp it's really cute i wish it had snape conjuring the patroness to give the locket but it doesn't i think most of the scenes are from books one to three this last role is called Reminder from Hogwarts and it has six scenes from Harry Potter book one and it's tall or it's like a wide washi like wider than the other ones and the images are cute but I wish they chose more iconic scenes like I don't know what that green scene is it looks like they're lying down on the grass they have Quidditch and the troll so that's how I figured out and it had Norbert so that's how I figured out that these were all book one scenes and next is this cardboard box that I'm very curious about because I it looks like it has stickers but I remember I did not order stickers so I'm looking at these and I think they look like something I would buy so I probably bought these but I can't remember the E6 pencil board, I remember buying, which is this one, this one. But this sticker especially, I don't remember buying this and it's not my aesthetic. I dislike this bright Japanese things. So I don't know, I think Jack might have put this by mistake. So I'm just setting them aside. But after I filmed this video, I immediately messaged Jack or Baby Glider and asked her about it and she told me they are freebies so hooray for freebies! And that's it, that's my Baby Glider haul. Thank you for watching, bye!